Hey everyone, Taku Kamabe here and I hope you're doing well. Today I have an exciting review here for you of this Guru Gear City Commuter Bag. Now I've taken this bag out a couple of times already into the city and there's a lot to like about it so I hope this gives you a little bit of an insight as to what this bag is all about. So let's begin. Just to clarify, Guru Gear did send me this bag for review but this review video is not sponsored nor am I getting paid to do this and all opinions are my own. I hope my analysis will help you in deciding on if this bag is right for you. Now I do have a detailed blog analysis of this bag as well on my website at www.smacko.com and I'll link that into the captions of this video as well. So I'm really glad that Guru Gear sent me this bag because it allows me to compare and contrast against one of their other bags that I've been using over the summertime and and that one is this, the Guru Gear Kiboko version 2.0. Now this is a 30 liter bag and this is an 18 liter bag. So you can see the footprint size difference. Uh, but this one, I also reviewed on my blog at www.smacker.com. So I will have that link in my captions as well. But you can see that this is considerably larger. It actually fits my Nikon Z9 with 100 to 400 lens and a myriad of other lenses and accessories within this bag in addition to attaching my tripod on the outside of it. So it does carry everything that I need to carry for my travels and um, so it's, uh, it's been serving my purposes quite well. Now if this bag is too big for you, this Guru Gear City Commuter might actually be the one that you're looking for. So. Uh, let's start with the outside of this bag. So let's start off with the front here. We have the Guru Gear's trademark butterfly opening zippers right here that actually opens up two different compartments. So we open this up and now we have our I guess aqua blue color uh, accents here on their zipper lines. And you have your mesh pockets here. And the mesh pockets are actually quite nice because you can actually see what's inside of them. So that's pretty handy there. You have additional pockets for your pens, uh, whatnot, an RFID, or sorry, RFID shield pocket here, which actually shields the elect electromagnetic uh, signals coming out from your credit cards if you need them. And then your key rings and additional pockets on this side. That up. Open the other side. Again, you have your two mesh pockets here, uh, an expandable pocket right there, perhaps for uh, something a little bit on the bulkier side, and then another pocket there. I would probably put my batteries or um, cable chargers or whatnot in there as well. So let's actually start off with this side here now. On the side, we have our one expandable pocket here. And this is actually pretty cool because it actually opens and closes through a magnet that it, it attaches to right here. And it is expandable quite a bit on the bottom as well. So you can actually put in a water bottle, a uh, pretty thick water bottle for that matter. And with the added clasp that, they, that or a strap that they have here, you can attach a tripod and then put the legs in here, much like uh, something like this, the uh, Peak Design travel tripod that I have. Uh, you can actually stick it in the pocket here and wrap the strap around this. And uh, since it's not too heavy, it actually is doable in that manner. Uh, I would not put in a heavy tripod for that matter onto the side here and I would actually strap it onto the front and I'll show you that a little bit later. Cool. Moving on to the other side, we have now not a pocket but we have a side opening access so you can actually access your camera right from the side right there. So I have my Nikon Z7 II which is already packed in there so I can carry that out with ease. And again, they have another pocket here where they suggest maybe your lens cap. Uh, it could fit an 82, 82 millimeters diameter lens cap in there uh, or anything else that will fit in that pocket, right? So let's move that. 
And finally, the back side. The back side is actually quite nice. Uh, very comfortable. First of all, let's go with the straps here. Very cushiony, thick, comfortable, soft shoulder straps. And uh, I wore it out for a walk into the city and I had no issues with it whatsoever. It actually distributes the weight well on my shoulders. Now we do have a sternum strap that I always recommend you use in case uh, it, it essentially distributes the weight evenly across your shoulders um, and it doesn't weigh them down as much. Now uh, an interesting thing about this uh, strap that I'm holding is they're using a uh, what's called a fidlock strap and I've never actually seen this before but it's actually quite neat. Uh, all you need to do is bring it towards each other and it just connects rapidly through a magnetic uh, connection and um, it's pretty sturdy you can't pull it together and pull it apart or anything and the way you separate them is actually just sliding it up against like that and it actually separates pretty, pretty quickly uh, and easily. Uh, I like this because you don't even need to be looking at it when you're connecting it. You can just bring it, oh, <laughs> you can just bring it near each other and it'll just snap uh, just like that. And then uh, you can easily disconnect it as well just by uh, sliding it up or down. So it's quite useful. Uh, they have this strap uh, clasp technology, I guess you can say, on um, most of their straps that they have on this bag. All but one actually, which is on this size uh, tripod um, strap. And uh, I'm actually quite wondering why that's the case. Perhaps this might be a little bit stronger to support this tri uh, the tripod, I'm not sure. But regardless, uh, this fidlock is quite uh, interesting to have on this bag. Now moving on to the back cushion, it is again cushioned quite well and makes it uh, very comfortable for your back and it does have gaps along the side and on the top there so it uh, distributes the airflow uh, against your back and your back does not get sweaty. Right on the middle here you have, it's not a holder but it's actually the um, luggage uh, handle uh, slider so you can actually slide the luggage handles right through there and uh, carry your backpack on top of your luggage that way. So all said and done very neat very clean and um, the mesh is very uh, welcomed because it is co uh, cushioned quite well. They have the top handle here which is actually useful, very useful, and I like the fact that it doesn't stick out as much. It's um, very uh, discreet and it can hide uh, if you don't need it as, as well. On the top, you can see there's two uh, straps here, and then you have the uh, fit lock straps that you can uh, release just like that. And the top is now actually a roll top. So you can expand the 18 liter capacity by unrolling the top and pretty much shoving anything that will fit inside this uh, top compartment. I uh, hope you can see that in there. It houses a few more mesh pockets and uh, it's well cushioned. So whatever you do put in there, it will have a lot of protection in it. I would probably put more of your daily things in it, uh, perhaps snacks or uh, um, a jacket or a sweater or whatever uh, you may need when you're going into the city. And the top compartment actually shuts quite nicely from uh, these magnets that you can see that are on both flaps. So all you need to do is just shut it like this and then roll it however tightly you need it to and then you can just oh, are we here? attach the straps just like so now and there you have the top compartment now I know that some bags actually close the top uh, roll top area with a zipper so that might be an added protection that I feel that is welcomed and uh, perhaps Gurgir may want to look into that for the next version of this city commuter bag. Right? 
So now we have that on the outside. Let's see what we have on the inside of this bag uh, where I have all my gear already inside. All right, so let's take a look at the inside. Move the straps away like that. Zip it. And now, here we go. So, we'll start from the back flap here because I find this actually very useful. And this is one of the things that I really like about this uh, Guru Gear City Commuter Bag. It's just this back flap here. And uh, this is where the cushion back is. So it's actually quite flat. And uh, because of this, now they house the laptop compartment as well as your tablet compartment right on the back here. And they did uh, a nice clever thing, I suppose you can say, is in addition to this clasp here, where you can simply move it to the side, they have this small flap here which acts as a protector uh, so the clasp doesn't actually scratch the laptop or your tablet that might be in here. Now I have my 14 inch MacBook Pro laptop in the larger compartment on the back here and I don't have a tablet but I do have my um, clipboard here that I actually quite <laughs> I use quite a bit when I go into the city for photo walks and whatnot so I do appreciate the fact that they have two different compartments for your laptop and your um, tablet or whatever other uh, documents you may need to fit in this second compartment. Now, it comes out really easily and you can see here that it's actually cushioned quite well in both compartments. There is a lot of um, padding in there as well so it does help to protect whatever it is that you have inside this section. Now they do have additional pockets here again they're meshed so you can see what's inside. Let's put this back in and then let's close that strap right there. So now we have the laptop on the back and my binder in the in the front there. So you can see how on the side here it's actually quite thick, probably about an inch and a half, two inches in thickness here. So you do have to be mindful of this because this thickness actually cuts into the height of your compartment area on the inside here. So you will not be able to have anything that sticks up above uh, a certain line within the interior of your bag here. So be mindful of that. Uh, you cannot have a lens sticking out like this because when you go to close the bag, your laptop will actually stop from uh, you being able to close the bag entirely. So be mindful of that. You probably, unless it is a small lens, you probably won't be able to put it in uh, standing up like this. You will need to lay it on the side, just like I've done here. So let's take a look at what we have on the inside of my bag. Relatively uh, simple. I have my Nikon Z7 II with the 24 to 120 lens. This is an f4 lens. Uh, I love this combination. This is what I bring to all my photo walks inside the city because it's a great all-around walking kit, the Z7 II, as well as the 24 to uh, 120 f4. So I have that on the bottom compartment, just like that. I have an extra lens that I, uh, that I bring in case I do need to uh, switch lenses. I have my 14 to 24 here. Sometimes I bring the 105 2.8 macro lens, uh, and either way, I will put them on the side, just like that. Then I have uh, an external microphone that I may want to use when I'm doing video recording. So in this case, this is the Sennheiser MKE uh, 400. Uh, great little mic uh, that I also reviewed on my blog as well, so in case you wanted to know more about this. And then I have uh, additional things such as a lens cloth cleaner, uh, a air blower for getting any uh, 
dust particles out of your sensor area. I have a filter, a, um, this is a polarizer actually, that I sometimes use on my lens to reduce reflections or increase uh, richness in color. And I also have a separate section for a strap, a shoulder strap, that I can use to uh, put on my camera so I can actually have my camera slung around my shoulder at the same time. Now, I always make sure to separate the shoulder strap from the camera itself when I put it into the bag because um, I didn't do this at first and the very first time I actually took my Nikon Z7 II out uh, with the shoulder strap, the buckle of the shoulder strap actually scratched my LCD screen and uh, I did not like that. So uh, now I'm making a point to actually separate the two and make sure that this buckle is nowhere near anything that it can scratch. So there is an added tip for you there. So you can see how it's actually very clean on the inside. Nothing is protruding out from the top. Everything is nicely laid out. This top compartment here is easily accessible. Very minimal, very simple. And um, really, it's not too much to carry. And this is exactly what I want to be able to carry when I go out into the city. So I really appreciate the fact that I can have my laptop with me as well as my uh, minimal camera gear for a photo walk. Now there's a reason why I have my Nikon Z7 II on the bottom and that's just because on the side here, move that away, I showed you earlier where we have the side access to my camera. So in this way, I can now simply just pull my camera out when I'm on the go, take my lens cap off, and they do suggest you put it into the side pocket just like that and then i can easily zip it back up and then continue shooting on the side there so very convenient uh, indeed the side access pocket and it does fit my nikon z7 II with the 24 to 120. i tried putting in my nikon z9 it does not fit in there uh, it does not fit in the bag itself because of the uh, inch and a half, two inches of the side padding that I showed you earlier. Because of that, my Nikon Z7 IX will not fit in there, unless of course I put it face down onto uh, one of the compartments in there. So there we have it. That's pretty much the inside and outside of the Guru Gear City Commuter uh, bag, and I really like it. So is this the bag for you? The Guru Gear City Commuter, well, if it fits all the gear you need it to fit, then I would definitely recommend you take a closer look at this bag uh, because it is very useful. It fits everything that I needed to fit, and that's why I actually appreciate this bag quite a bit. Uh, there is a lot of thoughtful consideration into many of the aspects that Guru Gear does uh, for their bags. Some things like there's this new um, uh, strap lock that they have here, the strap system, and uh, other things like side uh, opening compartments there, the back that which is cushioned quite a bit in addition to the laptop and the tablet compartments in the back there, and uh, magnets on the side to open and close your accesses on the side as well as the roll top on the top. Uh, very minimal, nothing too bulky on the outside, which is also something I like about these bags. Uh, it, uh, you don't have too many straps and pockets and things dangling around uh, like you do in some other bags. And so I can definitely see myself using this for my city walking um, adventures. And I would recommend you Take a look at this bag too if you think it will meet your needs. 
So that's it for this bag review, the Guru Gear City Commuter. I hope you enjoyed it and maybe learned a few things about Guru Gear or this bag itself. Please do comment below and ask me any questions and I'll try my best to answer them for you. Alternatively, you can look on my blog at www.smacker.com where I'll have all the written information about what I just mentioned in this video on this blog so you can uh, look back onto it whenever you want to. Thanks so much for listening and I hope to see you again soon. Goodbye!